Hello everyone, Sergeant Thor here. Welcome back to my crummy page. Today we are going to talk about Technoclip. I just received this today. Um, and I was going to give it a shot because usually I use, <clears throat> since 95, since they came out, Clip Draw. And I've used these for years and uh, They've really done a great job. I mean, I'm really satisfied. ClipDraw's done a good job um, with everything they've sent me. It's worked. But uh, this uh, this new clip, um, these guys, um, they must have did research, and uh, I think they just got it right. A little pricey, um, but uh, I, I think they're worth it. I, I know that they'll probably come down. In price or you'll send me some free ones for this video I'm hoping because I need a couple more um, and let's make that for uh, the Glocks because as you can see on my table well there's a couple nice Smiths but uh, most of them are my Glocks and there are my 19's in there and my 29's in there and you can see I carry holsters too I'm not just a clip draw fan, but uh, I love the product so much. It minimizes my carry. Um, it's comfortable, and as long as you use a trigger guard when you're hot, you're going to be safe. Do not carry any of these weapons without a trigger guard, okay? They have the clip. Now, <clears throat> my little swing on this is as you look at these guns, they all have clips on them, okay? every single one of them um, they just have clips my 41 no one would think you would carry a 41 with a clip draw I do they all have clip draws and if you noticed um, they all have a little skateboard tape now if you guys um, techno clip and clip draw uh, you know it's gonna probably cost you a little bit more but throw in a little skid plate man so you can get a good grip on this when you're pulling it back. I mean, mine vary from the time I put them on. There's a little piece. For the Smiths, I just use just that little piece where they got the rays. A little bit of skid plate there, or skateboard plate, excuse me. Skateboard tape on there. And uh, it does the, a great job, a great job. Um, and I just... Uh, I just love them, man. It's minimized my carry. Um, it's made things so simple, depending on where I'm going. Um, it's just, I just think it's awesome. Um, and the thing I do like about this is uh, the Techno Clip. These guys basically kiss your butt. I mean, I like it. Um, here we got, you know, I never got this from Clip Draw. Um, thank you for your order. We love it when people. You know share their um, experience with this on Facebook uh, you know to show their sweet guns and uh, our product you know I like that I like the the butt kiss right off the bat I do like that and of course they send you your car a card you know after you order so they do give you kind of a break on your neck per, your next per, purchase of the of the clip if you're gonna buy another one and uh, and then of course on the back of the card um, they give you all the models um, and what I found with this with Technoclip you know thank you you know really thank you I mean uh, come on clip draw get with the program I mean these guys um, when it comes to their selling and uh, you know just getting out there I mean even though they're they're more money um, they're nice um, I've got this one right here I don't know which one I'm gonna put it on uh, I do though I, I want to put this straight I do carry with holsters okay I just do I mean this is a very nice holster um, and so is this this is a very nice holster um, I'm not here to uh, sell the holsters but uh you know my 19 is in there my gen 3 this is one of my first guns i've gotten um i carry it in this sweet ass holster with a nice kent or yeah it's got a kent to it 
And let me set this down a second, sorry. Uh, um, but, uh, and my 29. Um, I think what's going to happen here is uh, this is going to go on this. Um, even though I do have a badass holster for this 29, um, it just will get rid of, it'll get rid of this bulk. See the bulk on this holster? See what you're dealing with in your pants? I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's a nice, secure, heavy-duty holster that'll do the job. So is this one. And they do do the, do the job. They've done the job. They're great. But my focus today is clip draw and Technoclip. That's my focus. Skateboard tape. You guys should throw in some skateboard tape because that makes chambering your gun a lot easier, especially the Glock. At least you have one side you can get a great grip on, and it works. I've used it. Range, wherever I've had to use it, it's worked. But safety is a big factor. I like safety. I don't want anybody to get hurt, especially myself, um, when carrying. And I've been carrying for... Uh, 25 plus years I've had guns all my life um, and you learn to respect them uh, a lot of people think these are unsafe um, as you can see I just think the opposite because I've got them on these are my carry guns that I have on the table here that I carry and um, every month I change off um, I shoot these guns at the range. Uh, you know, I go two, three times a week because I reload. Um, I do have uh, long wolf barrels that I put in my guns and uh, for my Glocks when I do shoot reloads, um, which work great. But uh, then again, you get a deal on some ammo and you don't have to put in the other barrel. You can just run it and it's great. But I just want to say that um, this this product, these guys, I mean, they're awesome. I mean, clip draw, you got to get your game up. I love your clip draw. Send me some free stuff. I'll, uh, I'll put you out there. Whatever you want me to try for you, I will. I've already tried all your stuff since 95. You know, you can see your stuff's on most of my guns. Um... And uh, with that little touch of skateboard uh, tape, it really makes my guns pop, and they're ready to go, every single one of them. Now, today, I want to bring you to uh, the Technoclip. Um, <laughs> you know, I just got them. And uh, I thought, you know, I've been trying to find one for my 19X, okay? And, you know, the back plate... Um, on the clip draws are just not cut out far enough. Well, Technoclip's got it right. They cut out the back groove of this so it'll slide over the new Gen 5s. Well, the 19X is like a 98% Gen 5 in my eyes. But still, it's a Gen 5 gun. And I could not, I thought, well, let's go to Clip Draw and get their universal stick on. And then I got looking at my 19X. I thought, do I really want to put that sticky crap all over my gun, make it look weird? <clears throat> no, I don't. So I got this today, and I was so excited to see that that clip is wider than Clip Draw's. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot, see if it works. Well, it worked. It worked. It worked nicely. Look at that. And, you know, some people say, you know, when you carry these guns, they work their way down and this and that. Well, I haven't, I don't have a, besides my 43, which does the same thing. It, it can't right there. It stops at my pants. And look at I mean, this gun, um, it's not loaded, and I don't have a trigger guard on it, um, but I just want to show you an example of what, uh, how it rides. Now, I can cover it up, never know it's there. I mean, 
you just never know it's there. I got a dress shirt on today. Um, you know, you just never know it's there. And with a trigger guard, you just hook that onto your belt with a trigger guard. You got it in there and it works great. Now, <clears throat> I have no problem with this gun moving. I've had it on there, you know, eight, 10 hours at one time and uh, it hasn't moved. Now, with this new clip, and that's with the clip draw, of course, does the same thing, cants like that and sets in here. But I'm really satisfied with, uh, with this setup because you can see uh, it cants right on my, my pants and it can't swear you can't see it you just can't see it it's just not there it's looking good so anyways i just wanted to make it uh let me pull this out 19x it fits it works you can see the cutout you need a little bit bigger cutout and that looks like that's perfect to make that fit of course i put a little once again, skateboard tape right on the end so I can get a good perch. Covers up one of the holes, but it works. And like I said, I mean, just comfortable. Less bulk in my pants, um, just less problems. I mean, I'm not afraid to wear a holster. Holsters are for like when I'm out running and gunning. Um, you wanna keep it in there, you know, you can. But with most of my guns, these all have holsters for them, too. Um, they're in my holster holder. And uh, I got to tell you, even with the, the clip draw, I can holster this with this clip draw. It slides right into my holsters. This slides right into plastic. It kind of holds it a little better in the holster. So with the clip draw, if I want to go with a holster, just whip out the holster for my Smiths my Glocks, whatever, my, whatever I'm carrying, my Kimbers, whatever. Um, I usually don't carry those. I carry only Glocks and Spiss. That's my choice. Um, but whatever I need it for, um, they work, and they've always worked. And um, they're not unsafe. People say, oh, that's unsafe to carry a gun with a clip on it. And uh, it's so it's some people just don't it's not their thing it's not their thing but I found that uh, for me they work great and uh, I'll, I won't give them up if I do need a holster I'll just grab the holster and I don't have to worry about taking off the clip draw and if I do here's a cool thing about this that some of you might not know um, clip draws Okay, say that I have a holster that this, this thing isn't going to fit, you know. It jams up in the holster. So, it takes me about, I don't know, three, three minutes milking it, drinking a cup of coffee. Take this back plate off and put the original one back on. I mean, there's nothing to it. Here's the original plate. And you just break it down, of course, like you're doing a, a breakdown on the gun. And then just hit the little, you, you guys seen the videos, and this will slide right off with it connected to the back. You don't have to take the screws out all the time. Uh, most of mine are Loctited in. Anyways, I use a blue Loctite. Um, what I gotta say about Technoclip is their, their screws come with Loctite. Uh, like I said, this company, um, they're, they're, they're doing it because Nothing against clip draw. Used them since 95, and I love them still. Just trying to give you guys a heads up. Uh, Technoclip has got it together. Um, but a little bit of blue Loctite is going to keep your screws from loosening up when you're shooting at the range. Um, I've had that issue. Only excessive shooting. Um, that I have, I, I got to say only one time. I had one just come loose a little bit. But just for safety reasons, I, um, I use the blue. Don't use the red. You have a hell of a time getting them off. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I just want to say that uh, it's only a minute to take off. If you need to, to change out, 
um, you can take the clip draw off and put your regular back back on, throw it in your sweet ass holster, and you're ready to roll. But then when it comes to the point where, well, I don't want to carry this big bulky ass holster around to help the old bump. I just want to carry my sweet ass clip draw or Technoclip now around. And that's how I carry. I mean, it, it, it just works, folks. I, I'm not going to, you know, put any special bullshit on it. Um, I wouldn't be carrying these on. I wouldn't be using these clips on all my guns unless I thought it was safe. I've, uh, I've been in the service. I've served my country. I've, I've done what I had to do. I did my 20-plus years. And I've seen a lot of different... Um, you guys would freak out on some of the stuff I've seen guys carry when I was in the service and how they carried. Um, you know, all you safety Nazis would probably, uh, you know, just your snowflake pants would melt but seeing some of this stuff. Um, so you got to have confidence when you carry like this. Just have confidence in yourself and your weapon. Um, you know, I have confidence in Smith. I've had Smith since they came out, first gen. Now I've got the 2.0. I've got the uh, compact and the four inch that I love both. These guns are just freaking awesome. They shoot straight every time. Um, no problems. Uh, just love them. This is uh, by far, now I'm getting off track here, but uh, this is it. This Smith right here is the Glock Killer. This is the 19 Glock Killer right here. Um, I just got to tell you, um, I'm going to change it. I, I do the extendo clip, so I got 17 in the mag. As you can see, I'm using the clip from this, and they send you these extendos, or like gap, for the gap. And you can put them in there. You can run 17 rounds in this little gun. And uh, you can clip draw it with a trigger guard, and you're, you're in like Flint. I got trigger guards for my Smiths, too. Um, I got trigger guards for all of them. I just pulled out these three today. Um, because these three are this month's carry. Uh, my 40, my 23, Gen 2, by the way, folks. This gun, I rebuilt it. <clears throat> little history on this gun, just to flap a little bit. Um, FBI turn-in. Um, it came with these sights on it. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Um, it was a turn-in, so what I did is I did spring kits, um, spring kit on it um, and just cleaned it up just cleaned it up put a clip draw on it skateboard tape trigger guard carries like magic no issues no problems everybody's seen the videos on how the trigger guards work you pull up not out or over um, you slide them in so you don't have any issues these are some sweet trigger guards um, they're U of M Tech, technical or tactical, whatever you want to call it. I call them University of Michigan trigger covers. Um, you can get them uh, Amazon, eBay, whatever. Um, they had a special, ten bucks, ten bucks. So I bought a bunch of them, handful of them, to fit all my guns. Um, I think they're better than the ones that are out there, the ones that people are you know, crack and that, that crummy company. Um, they just don't got it right. You can see by holsters, uh, you know, you, the carbon fiber is the way to go. Um, even though I have, I've had this holster forever. Um, not gonna tell you where I got it from, but this holster you can see is heavy duty too. Very thick, uh, does the job. I've been carrying it for years. Um, I'm happy with it, but the carbon fiber I just think is the coolest and these are my, every single trigger guard I have is carbon fiber um, They just seem to be a little heavier um, And they work they work every time so like I said, we'll go back to the 19 killer M&P 9 
2.0 or M2.0. That is the Glock killer right there. Um, I've just got to tell you that this gun, it's cheaper. It, it comes with steel sights. It comes with all the goodies, back straps. It does have a really heavy duty skateboard uh, texture on this handle. So when I carry it like this, I, I do have a shirt in between here so it doesn't chafe the crap out of my body. Um, but once again, it can'ts in my pants. I mean, it, it'll can up and sit on there and it won't move around. It doesn't do any funny stuff. It stays where I put it on my belt. And with a trigger guard on it, I'm good all day. I, you know, minimize um, holster and you can carry a pretty good sized gun. I mean, uh, look at, I mean, I carry this. I carry the 41, okay? Now, practical tactical 41. I love my 41. It, uh, it, it, this gun carries like a dream. It just does. Because I don't have it in a huge ass bulky holster. It's just a clip and a trigger guard. And remember, you have to train. When you, when you use this system, train. I train on a daily basis. I'll get up before I go to work and, uh, I'll stick it in my pants and I'll pull it out three or four times just to get that repetition down, uh, mem muscle memory, um, and uh, and go. I know what I have to do. You pull it out, you give it a little jerk, the uh, trigger guard comes off, and you are ready to go. There's no, you know, I mean, holstering's good too. I practice both ways. A lot of experience carrying a gun. Okay, and this is what brought me to this, to Technoclip. I just can't say enough about you guys, man. Uh, I, I think you're awesome, besides the price. But uh, in a way, if you look at it, you know, uh, it's worth it. Um, you got a heavy-duty clip. Let's go over here with the, night. like I said, 19X. It's just, this gun just came out, and it's different. The back plate is different. It's, you need a wider cutout there. If you don't have that wider cutout, it's not gonna work. Clip draw, you need to fix that. So, when I do get a, you know, Glock series, it's gonna fit all my guns. I'm not gonna have to mess around. I thought about cutting out that one but I thought, no, let's just give Technoclip a shot, and they won. Look at that. Fits beautifully. There's plenty of space in there. Um, like I said, a little skateboard tape on there. It's got a nice, thick, I just, it's heavy duty, and it's thick. Uh, a little wider. Eh, that's not so much, but uh, it's just nice. I just think it's cool. I think it does the job beautifully. So I'll be using a few more of these. And Technoclip, if you want to send me some of these, I'd be happy to try them out for you. Um, I like everything you send with it. I mean, whoever's doing your marketing is doing a great job. Because, you know, it gives you everything. I mean, ClipDraw does the same thing. And I can't leave these guys out because they were around way before you. And uh, 1995, when they came out, and I've used them since, and I've had no issues with them. But Technoclip, you guys are great. I know you were at Shot Show, and uh, you know it was just—it's just awesome. I didn't think too much of it then, but when I when I finally got this today, and I seen, you know, you, your butt kiss, and I like that because that's just—that's good. That is just good to uh, to send. I know that you know twenty nine buck, twenty thirty bucks. I mean, you can get clip draw knockoffs eight eight nine bucks. You can get these. Um, you know, made in of course made in China knockoffs. You can get them for eight bucks. You know, you're gonna pay nineteen bucks for original. Um, somewhere around there, 18, 19 bucks for original. Um, 
and that's fine um, because they've worked. I've had no failures with clip draw, uh, Technoclip, you're in the house now, and I'll be riding you bad and hard, and we're gonna see. And from what I've seen so far, you guys are awesome. I mean, I'm gonna put this one on, um, I think I'm gonna ride it on the 29. I'm gonna try it on the big gun and see how she performs. Um, I'm sure it's gonna perform flawlessly. Um, and we're just gonna give it a shot. We're gonna put the clip on, throw a trigger guard on, fire it up, throw it in my hip, and see how she rides. Now, some people say, um, it's not for appendix carry. Well, you know, that depends on the individual. As long as you have your, your, your guard on, you know, your trigger guard on, you're gonna be safe. These things fit so freaking tight. And the best thing I like about these, let's flip this one down. Um, when you go to draw the gun, most of, you know, some of the clip draws, or um, not the clip draws, but the trigger guards, they come way up and they cover, you know, they come way over here and they cover. You can see um, it stops right here. And the reason why I picked this one is when I go for my draw, Look, my fingers pick it right up, and uh, I'm right in the purchase of my grip. I'm not hitting the trigger guard, which would come and cover this usually. It would cover that. So when I go to purchase my gun and pick it and pull it out of my pants, I got a full grip on my uh, on the grip. I got a full hand grip. And I pull it out, and then this thing flies off, and I'm there. I don't have to worry about being down here on it. Um, yeah, some people say, well, you need that extra. No, that's not coming off. I'm not kidding you. That's not coming off. You got to really jack it. I call it the hammer. Um, some, you know, I call it jaws because when you clip it on there, you clip it on there. You got to, when you pull this out, you got to pull it upright so it pops off from the bottom. And let me just tell you, there, there it is. It pops off. There's a couple holes in the bottom. I think that's to, um, uh, if you had a moisture or anything, but you know what? As an engineer side, or engineer side of it, um, those two holes will cut down on that thing cracking. Stress. Um, and there's another thing I found about these. Um, you know, Glock. Smith. Smith. It works on the Glocks or the Smiths beautifully. Holds the gun beautifully. I mean, there's no issues with it. Ah, there we go. Um, so I can use this on my Smiths, on my Glocks, whatever I want. Here is the info on it. They, they put it right inside the clip it's for a G19 through 41 but it fits my M&P 9 2.0 both of them no problem and uh, they're just awesome they're heavy duty you can see how thick they are um, and it doesn't make a difference you know you don't want the super thin ones you know because they'll crack keep them out of the heat um, just take care of your stuff. It'll take care of you. That's the goal here. So once again, you know, most of my carry guns have clip draw. Now Technoclip has come into the picture, and Technoclip is going to be my baby now and forever. That's pretty much all I got, folks. You can see... Um, all my guns have clip draw on them. I've had no problems, shot myself or anybody else. Uh, be smart, be safe when you're out there. Um, just use good common sense. Don't get in a hurry. I mean, just don't get in a hurry. 
take your time be smart when you need to be fast be fast and smart um, that's pretty much all I got I've just got to say one more time thank you Technoclip for uh, sending me your product of course I had to buy it but uh, nice butt kissing I like all the butt kissing um, that goes along with it too that uh, that'll make me buy some more of them just because I like them now um, this impressed me um, new gun Technoclip is riding my 19x so that means the new 45 the new gen 5 19 um, etc all the new stuff we know that Technoclip is going to work on them you won't have to do any modifications um, to the back plate fits it works I just think that is cool and that's what I like to see they're keeping up with the game so for those that like to carry a holster and I do too when I'm running and gunning so my gun doesn't fall out of course I've tried it with my clips too and I have never had one fall out and I've ran all around and done everything of course you have your your guard on there but for like running and gunning um, personally the holster that's just more security um, especially when you go to put it away if it's dirty or wet you know this is all open they say it wears on your gun more as you can see all my guns look pretty much brand new the only gun that's uh, old here is uh, my 23 Gen 2 and that still looks in pretty good shape because I take care of everything um, and then of course my 19 over here I've had it forever um, it's a good gun it's got character holster wear but character so once again rambling on here we go clip draw send me some product Technoclip send me some product and thank you for the two clips I received today. One went on my 19X, which I love. I'll be carrying that for the next couple months just to see how it works. But once again, thanks everyone for watching. Um, like I said, my crummy page, Sergeant Thor, over and out.